internal system introduction circulatory system blood what happens when you get a cut on your body blood flows out but what is blood blood is the fluid which flows in blood vessels it transports substances like digested food from the small intestine to the other parts of the body it carries oxygen from the lungs to the cells of the body it also transports waste for removal from the body how does the blood carry various substances blood is a liquid which has cells of various kinds suspended in it the fluid part of the blood is called plasma one type of cell is the red blood cell rbc which contains a red pigment called hemoglobin hemoglobin binds with oxygen and transports it to all parts of the body and ultimately all the cells it will be difficult to provide oxygen efficiently to all the cells of the body without hemoglobin the presence of hemoglobin makes blood appear red the blood also has white blood cells wbc which fight against germs that may enter our body difference between breathing and respiration are tabulated respiration in plants since all living organisms breathe so plants too breathe and respire in plants also food that is manufactured in the form of starch needs to be broken down to release energy so respiration is a vital function in plants respiration is aerobic and is represented as starch sugar plus oxygen gives energy plus carbon dioxide plus water in plants breathing takes place through tiny holes or openings under the leaves called stomata stomata traps in air and the exchange of gases takes place inside the plant cells oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is given out